Hi, welcome to Thika Refrigeration. In this video, we will explain major elements of refrigeration systems and their functions. Let's get started right away. Major elements of refrigeration systems and their functions. The refrigeration system makes a cold room work. It is simply a process of transporting heat from one place to another. The vapor compression system is the most commonly used method of refrigeration. It is frequently used in large cold rooms like industrial chillers. The main components of a refrigeration system First, the compressor The compressor's use is to pull the low temperature and low pressure vapor from the evaporator, through a suction line. Once the vapor is drawn, it will be compressed. This will cause the vapor's temperature to rise. Its main function is to transform a low temperature vapor into a high temperature vapor to increase pressure. Vapor is released from the compressor into a discharge line. Second, the condenser. Condensation changes gas to a liquid form. Its main purpose is to liquefy the refrigerant gas sucked by the compressor from the evaporator. As condensation begins, the heat will flow from the condenser into the air, only if the condensation temperature is higher than that of the atmosphere. The high pressure vapor in the condenser will be cooled to become a liquid refrigerant again, this time with a little heat. The liquid refrigerant will then flow from the condenser to a liquid line. Number 3, the expansion valve. Commonly placed before the evaporator and at the end of the liquid line, the expansion valve is reached by the liquid refrigerant after it has been condensed. Reducing the pressure of the refrigerant, its temperature will decrease to a level below its atmosphere. This liquid will then be pumped into the evaporator. Number 4, the evaporator. An evaporator is used to turn any liquid material into gas. In this process, heat is absorbed. The evaporator transfers heat from the refrigerated space into a heat pump, through a liquid refrigerant, which boils in the evaporator at low pressure. In achieving heat transfer, the liquid refrigerant should be lower than the goods being cooled. After the transfer, liquid refrigerant is drawn by the compressor from the evaporator through a suction line. Liquid refrigerant will be in vapor form upon leaving the evaporator coil. That's it. Please, don't forget, to hit the like button, and subscribe, to the channel. Thanks, for watching.